Hello, my name is Adriana. I'm a Make More Librarian with LA County Library, and today we're going to do an art activity. So let's see what we're going to need in order for you to make your very own scratch art. For this activity, you're going to need white construction paper or pastel colored. You're going to need crayons, paint, and a cup for their paint, and of course, a paintbrush or a paint sponge like I'm going to use. You're also going to need a scratching tool like a toothpick or a bamboo skewer or like I'm going to use a popsicle stick. I also recommend having uh, towels on hand so you can have it around your work area. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are a few designs of scratch art. It is a technique where you use a scratching tool like a toothpick or a popsicle stick to scratch the surface of the paper to reveal the color design underneath. With a scratching tool, you can create a variety of images from space adventures to something abstract like line drawing. I have been doing a lot of art programs with LA County Library. And one of the most common concerns I hear is, I don't know what to do, or I don't know what to draw. And it's okay to feel that way because I feel that way too sometimes. But what I like to do is to look around me and to see what inspires me. But I also like to think about my favorite things, like my favorite colors or my favorite book or my favorite character. I look at my favorite character and see what colors they use to see if it can inspire me. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use my favorite colors to create my background, which is green and blue. So let's get started. When you're ready to design your background, we're going to need the following items, construction paper, and of course, crayons. You wanna pick a design that's simple, but you wanna use a variety of colors. As I mentioned, I'm using my favorite colors in different shades of blue and green. But you wanna create a background that is simple. Here I use diagonal lines, but you can also go horizontal or lateral. You can also do different shapes, like a bunch of circles or different colors. It's all up to you. But what I do recommend is using a lot of pressure when you're coloring. Because we want these vibrant colors to show, you wanna press really hard on the paper. But what might happen is you might break a few crayons. But if that happens, you can still keep coloring. As you can see, I broke my blue crayon, but I can still color. And I've now completed my whole sheet. What I do recommend is making more than one design. That way when you're ready to paint, you have a variety of colors and designs. That way you can have more than one and they can dry all at the same time. A fun fact about crayons is on March 31st, it's a national crayon day. But what I really like about crayons is their distinct smell. So let's get started with painting. We're going to need, of course, our paint and paintbrush, one of our designs, and of course, a towel, just in case that there's a mess. For this part of activity, the reason why I recommend tempera paint is because it's known to flake or crack, and that's going to make it easier when you're going to scratch off. But you want a good amount of paint on your paintbrush and just gently go back and forth or up and down side to side with your paintbrush until your design, your canvas is completely covered. And if you want to add another layer, you can use like a handheld fan so it can dry quickly and then add another layer. But you just wanna make sure that you have it nicely covered. A fun fact about tempera paint is that it's also known as egg tempera. And that's because it's used to be, it used to be made or can be made out of egg yolk. And once you're done, you can set it aside 
and let it dry. And you can repeat with your other designs. So here's my drawing. After I saw my design, I thought, let's go under the sea. Thank you everyone for joining us. But before we wrap up, here are some tips for your activity at home. Look for broken crayons you already have, or try a different color of tempera paint, or even try different sizes of scratching tools from narrow to wide. Explore the possibilities of your scratch art and have fun. Thank you all for joining me on this colorful adventure. Please visit our website for other amazing resources and other free opportunities like the Safe for Our Home Stories, where you can view and submit your art, poetry, pictures, or your scratch art drawing. We would love to see what you have to do during this time. We hope you enjoyed this activity, so please click on the link in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye, everyone.